Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! In an interview with Sky News, the Shadow Foreign Secretary, Emily Thornbury, was unable to name the French Foreign Minister. She then accused Sky's uh, Dermot Murnahan of sexism for asking the question. She also refused to name the President of South Korea in the exchange. But I just want to know, I mean, have you called the French Foreign Minister, for instance? No, but know? they were in the process of arranging for me to go, to go to France and to Germany. Do you know who he is? Um, don't start pub quizzing me, Dermot. Well, don't I mean, start you know, pub quizzing he's me. He's the French Foreign Minister. Do you know his name? <laughs> No, and I'm not going to start oh, answering your again. questions on this. Well, I mean, really, it was just we had that one you were shadow defence secretary on death. Do you know, what, you know, do you know what? What really upsets me right, about your please. attitude to me is that you you do this with me. I don't remember you doing it with anybody else. You know, I do. I, do you I, have I, you I, done I, it to have you done it, David Davis? Have you well, have you we, asked these questions? Did the Sky journalists we, we, have a go at Boris Johnson on this basis? How about Liam Fox? Have you did you do many discussions with Liam Fox? I mean, honestly, really. But quite seriously, can we talk about some serious stuff? Why don't we talk about Syria? How about talking about North Korea? You really want to spend this time pub quizzing me? I won't then. Let's talk about North Korea. Let's talk precisely about that. Do you Honestly. think? Well, the fact that you don't know the French foreign minister's name. Oh, OK, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, what, what about the South Korean president, then, if we want to talk about North Korea? Do you know the name of the South Korean Let president? Let me talk about North Korea. Who's, me... who's been talking about nuking Pyongyang. Let me talk about North Korea, because I think that, you know, with these tests going on at the moment, clearly it is a huge threat to the area, and it's a, th and it's a real challenge to the international community. You know, what are we to do about North Korea? And this idea, I mean, you know, it's not fully fleshed out now, but we are hearing some reports saying that South Korea, obviously cheek by jowl with North Korea, worried about these developments and has contingency plans for a preemptive strike on Pyongyang. I think that we need to, I mean, yes, and I think that their, their, their anti-missile system is something which the Chinese are very worried about because the Chinese worry that it might encroach on their territory as well. So I think that all these things need to be put into the mix. I think that we need to be careful. I think that, I think that it's right for the United Nations to be talking about further sanctions, but I think that we also have to be conscious of the fact that we might be playing into the hands of the North Korean government who wants the North Korean people to be thinking that the entire world is against them and that they must cleave but closely to the government. Well, a call from Boris Johnson to the South Korean president, whose name I guess you don't know. And the and the and the important point, which is you know, which is about our security and world security, is that how how we are going to approach North Korea into the future. All right, but how would we? And if you want me to go Korean with you president? to a pub tonight, and we can do a pub quiz tonight, I'm let's not the do it. Shadow Foreign Secretary. You know, honestly. I'm not the Shadow Foreign <laughs> Secretary, you know. I mean, we're talking about perhaps a global conflict here, and uh, one nation and the threatening thing one, is the, one and nation the, threatening nuclear strikes on the other. Yes. Thought you might have been rather. And, the, rather and I can tell you, and I can tell you that you, I'm extremely you know interested what in this. And I will the talk Korean about. President is. I, I will. And I, I'm not getting drawn by you into this nonsense. I am quite prepared to talk politics with you and to talk about the okay, principles well, we will minute, and the but, threats to the but country. But just for future reference, Park Hun Hee. Uh, it is a she. Um, but we will move on. I think that um, anti-Semitism in our society continues no, but in your party. to be... No, no, no. In society generally continues to be an issue and obviously it is also it continues to be an issue within the Labour Party. And it is not something that we can be complacent about or we must always make sure that we are, we are prepared to confront and stamp out whenever it raises its ugly head. And whether that's racism, whether that's anti-Semitism or sexism, you know, I think that we absolutely must call it But it's interesting it you're saying there is more to be done within the Labour for them, Party. There is always more to be done. There is always more to be done, and do you know what? There's certainly a lot more to be done by the Tories, and, and I certainly think that sometimes when it comes to sexism, some Sky presenters need to look at themselves too. I really do. It really, it really upsets me that every time I come on here, you do another pub quiz with well, me because well, you me, do well, not well, do well, it with anybody me, else. Well, and I address, do think that let, it's let me address it, Emily. It, it, it's not because you are the shadow foreign secretary. Yeah, right. And this was about the French foreign minister, Jean-Marc Ayrault, well, who Boris Johnson has let's, met. Let's now, take this off because I've got a times. lot to say to you, and I don't think a lot of it could, ought to be okay. broadcast. Emily Thornby, <laughs> for the time being, thank you very much indeed, and more than keen to have that discussion on air if you, if you like. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's a question way back uh, when when. Um, Oh, I can't even remember when Mr. Johnson, Alan Johnson, was uh, was Shadow Chancellor. We had discussions about the rate of national insurance, which which he didn't know, and he should have known. I would have suspected as a Shadow Chancellor. It's Alan Johnson. I'll, I'll just leave it there with you.
Emily Thornbury. I'm sure thank you, you want to get the last word, of course. Emily Thornbury, um, damn it, Murnahan. I don't know whether those two are going to be exchanging Christmas cards this year. I, well, I don't think I'm on Emily Thornbury's Christmas card list either, but there we are. But um, no, this, is, this was absolutely wonderful. A perfectly reasonable question about whether she was said she was going to be, um, kind of say, Shadow Foreign Secretary Emily Thornbury, mm. which still makes me laugh. But she said she was going to be meeting with uh, the French, German and French uh, um, you know, shadow ministers, and, and he, uh, he just asked the name of you know, the French minister. And she said, don't start pub quizzing me, Dermot, and then accused him of sexism uh, because he, he doesn't do this with the male president. Well, with male uh, uh, um, uh, shadow ministers, it, which of course everyone does. He has done does. it with David Cameron. Uh, He's Alan done it Johnson, with well, did, Alan Johnson, yep. I believe with Boris Johnson as well, and a variety yeah, of Derm others. Dermot's not sexist at all. But it, I do have some sympathy with politicians when you're asked a okay. question of uh, you know some fact, and you you either don't know the name, mm. but and. But, and so she clearly started to busk it a bit because she couldn't say, "Oh, I haven't a clue who this person is who I've just said I'm, you know, yeah. meeting tomorrow, whenever it is." And so you do have to sort of, "Well, how do I get out of this one?" But, 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 but the good politicians um, so do it with charm yeah, and yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wit. mistake is to attack the presenter, which is quite often the instinct. I've seen a few of them do it, and it never works. Um, no, but, but the, what, one, the wonderful, no, the brilliant was, thing was, this she, is said, she said, I, ask me about Syria or North Korea. Then he asked her to name the South Korean president. She couldn't do that well, well, isn't, 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 well, isn't, fair fair isn't it fair to say that there are kind of two separate issues here then? Whether or not that the Shadow Foreign Secretary should know the name of the French Foreign yeah. Minister that she's off to meet, and then whether or not, if a woman had been yeah. asking that question, whether the accusation of sexism would, would have, have been, would have even the, been offered. But the point is, asking a perfectly well, reasonable question of, of, of a, of a senior female politician. Uh, it, that, that is sexism. It, it, frankly, there is enough sexism that's going on for her to claim this is sexism. No, it's but, a national embarrassment. But, but, this is a woman who was shadow defence secretary and didn't know what DEFCON but, meant. No, no, but, no, My nine-year-old knows what DEFCON meant. She was, she was trying to get out of a situation which is a, a nightmare and because she, she couldn't do the answer and you can't say, I don't know the name. And so she, people you people, people bust. Forgiving. Well, maybe, maybe. Uh, certainly, the I line she took. I can't remember didn't right work. now. I've got. I've. I've met so many people. I can't remember his name. Yeah, right no, now. that would have been a better way out of yeah. it. I agree. But, mm. but the fact that you had to get out of it is unquestionably. Yes, but to play the sexism card in the same way people are um, inappropriately claiming the racist card, you should never play those cards but, unless it actually is, because it's very dangerous and it undermines. She's just undermined. Well, it's a very what, serious a allegation to make of very, anyone, particularly I, if you're I, doing it on live I television. I thought Dermot Murnaghan was remarkably great. Gracious about it, actually. Well, yeah, he's, he's, he he's, should demand he's an not, apology. But, um, but you know, it is. I remember when Ed Balls, who, who, who's got a fantastic memory, forgot on air the business person he had oh, just yeah. had dinner with or something. Mm. And it is. I mean, what do you say? I can't. It, oh, I, you know, he's so insignificant in my life. I can't remember. Even yes. though I had, you, you can't. So I can't remember how he got out of it or whether he did. But mm. she obviously thought, right, the only way out is to attack the presenter, and it, it never works as a technique. I've been getting